Welcome back to the channel. That's not how I start off my <laughs> any of my YouTube. I ain't gonna so never look at you. You're never over? gonna turn on my YouTube and hear me say, "Hey guys, welcome back to my channel." I'm not trying to mimic anyone either, because I don't. I don't, I don't know. Sound like a James Charles. Woo! We're not gonna say no <laughs> other YouTube names because no one's paying me. Yeah. Minutes. Um. So. I'm explaining to my, my daughter about how I work out and how I go at the gym and, you know, be getting on the, I'm getting on a tread and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm lifting two hours solid all the time in the gym. And uh, she, she looks at me and she says, you might be a masochist. Excuse me. things first I want to thank everybody for uh, checking out the live uh, and all 22 of my subscribers I just want to say mm, you guys are amazing uh, um, the art of conversation that is what I entitled this the first time I uh, thought about it but I guess I guess more so it's just uh, a way for me to talk about how we talk about how we talk to each other, given today's um, climate socially between uh, this person and that person out in the world, it's like it's nuts. Um, and conversation, having good conversation, to me, seems to be a big part of um, of life right now. I mean, any anything, anything that understanding each other. Um, Getting to know each other better, um, getting to 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 really connect with each other on a on a play by play basis. Um, I I realize it's going to take some time. I realize it's the type of thing that doesn't doesn't happen overnight. But personally, for me, uh, conversation has always been a really really big part of that like just talking to people and genuinely listening to people and genuinely um uh appreciating what someone else has to say uh, i guess in that respect i mean you know it's a good way to feed out the 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 just the people that are just talking to hear themselves talk it's all but it's also a good way to appreciate those people who who genuinely have something of importance to say or teach or or uh, or or just share with you you know whether it's something that they're uncomfortable with something that they're comfortable with uh, things that they you know whether if it's your partner maybe something that they need from you it's just this conversation just to me right now seems to be a major a major point in, in just social existence, just really being out here. I mean, like, and, and some of us are better than others. Some of us are, uh, some of us are, are a little too good at having conversation to where's, you know, you just, you're just overly, overly connective with people. And, and that poses a problem too. You know, sometimes you can be too enveloped into, um, a set of things to where is it, it'll disconnect you from other things. So it's, it's good to be, uh, to be a critical thinker that goes along with conversation. But it, within all that, I just thought that maybe I could do a video where I shared just a few things from different, different, uh, platforms that I thought for me are important in conversation. And that's, that's where I'm headed in this video. I just got a few, I'm gonna keep trying to keep it short. I don't want it to be long. I'm trying to keep these videos. I, my goal is, is 10 to 15 minutes of video. 
first video fail. I did. I did. It was like a half hour. I didn't mm, didn't mean to do that. Sorry for anybody that sat through that torturous 30 minutes. But 10 to 15 minutes, that's the goal. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm checking out a few websites um, where, to me, they highlight things that I practice in conversation because I, I feel it's very necessary. Some people will say I'm, I'm a good listener. Some people will say I'm a good talker. Some people will say he don't, he don't hear nothing. He just be, he be sitting there. He don't, he be going, is he listening? I don't know. But, uh, but that's, that's the, that's the goal for this video. And, uh, it's not going to be nothing exciting, y'all. You know, just, 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 just bear with me. Bear with me. 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, half an hour. I don't know. I don't know. But that's, that's what we're doing today. O positive. This is the O convo episode. Un o underscore convo episode. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this is uh, Medium. For anyone that's not sure, Medium is a blogging um, like social platform for bloggers, people that just really want to write. If you have a talent for writing um, and, and that's your outlet is to write and, and get your information out there, Medium is a great application slash platform. And someone is calling me on my phone. Ooh, someone is calling me on my phone. Calling on my phone. Ooh, my phone. Ooh. Hello. Yes. I am recording videos. Ah, I think you can walk. Ah, I don't want to stop filming. <laughs> okay, I'll be there in a second. All right, bye-bye. Article blog is by Alex Car... Carad... Karadzin, Karadzin, Alex Karadzin, Karadzin. Um, and his, it's titled Self-Awareness, How to Stay Focused and Fully Engaged in Any Conversation. I, maybe, I don't know, but he did have some, some titles that, made me say hey I that's that's the way I conversate with people that I use that already that's something that I already add to conversation when I'm talking to people meditation that's something on here um, meditation I it's definitely beneficial for conversation if you can get into the practice of meditation then you can get into the practice of um, being more connected in a conversation listening better you you you're more aware of your attention and where it is um that's basically meditation in a nutshell is just gaining an awareness of yourself your surroundings um um i mean to the point to where is depending on how much you you meditate you could become hyper aware of things like it's insane like you can almost it's almost if you think about hyper awareness, it's almost scary because then you just become attuned to all types of types of different things, and you find yourself listening you know, or or just being acute to stuff that I don't know most people wouldn't because the fog of thought tends to just kind of clutter up everybody's mind. So you know, um, I can see how meditation is something I've meditated before. I've meditated. Uh, I still meditate today. Um, but it's more, it's not like, it's not like Buddha monk meditation. I'm not, you know, I'm not burning incense or anything. You just take it, just take some time out to really just, uh, think to myself for a minute. Why is my light 
flickering on and off. What is happening right now? What are you doing? <laughs> You're scaring me now. <laughs> Why are you say a word? <laughs> You're fine. I can. So, I attempt to use this um, when it comes to conversation. When I engage with people in conversation, is mindfulness. That was another topic, another highlighted topic in his in his blog. Um, and mindfulness is in the same vein of meditation. In in a sense that. In, during meditation, you you can find uh, you can meditate on feelings that you experience, like um, and feelings that of connectivity between you and other people, if that's what you choose to meditate on. And mindfulness, to me, is um, you you broadening your your awareness of the emotions of people you engage with. Um, whether it's a spouse, your kids, your manager, your, your um, uh, what's, what's an odd thing, your, your, your Amazon delivery person, I'm trying to think of odd stuff, the uh, cashiers, cashiers and things like that. A lot of people engage with cashiers in a weird way. Um, because we have these kind of odd understandings of how uh, service people are supposed to attend to us. And uh, mindfulness just kind of helps you be more, here comes that word that everybody's using right now, empathetic or empathic. I don't know. Just It, it, develop, it helps you develop those types of emotions. Empathy and... and um, bunch of other emotions that you can get in touch with I'm trying to keep this video short uh, and and through mindfulness you can broaden your your awareness within conversations just making them that much more acute which basically just kind of just narrows the gap between you and the person that you're talking to and hopefully creating a um, a much better experience for both of you you know you get them they get you um, and that's that's a plus to me I mean that's a big that's a big thing you know you really want to understand the person that you're talking to and you really want them to understand you that's all that's that's what most of us are looking for as far as I'm concerned um, he's got visualization I don't know if I visualize a lot of things I try not I don't journal I don't journal conversations like that although these are practices that I think maybe I you know I could I could try lucid dreaming, Alex. Which is, hmm. What? Okay. Um. Yeah, and those are just some of the things, and I'm not gonna touch on all the things that he has. He, he's got like a two part vlog, and I'm not gonna a two part two part blog on the social the medium app, which once again is just a blogging app for people that like to express themselves in written form, and that's that's kind of cool, you know. I, I got a medium. I have a medium. I'd like to do more blogs, but I'm barely making videos for you guys, so maybe not yet. Um, get back. We. I'm also. Where is it? Let's see. Um, Biz Library. Um, BizLibrary.com, maybe. I'm not sure. That's what it looks like. A blog. Or easy. Distractions are easy to come by. You know, you got to really... Getting into, getting into the listening aspect. I think everybody could use a tip or two as far as listening goes because... Um, we just, I don't know, listening's not as easy as it sounds. I mean, you know, we, we think that we just listen with our ears and just because we hear you means we're listening. That doesn't always, that's not always true. It's not always true. I hear all types of things. I mean, I hear birds chirp. That don't mean I'm listening to them. I don't know what, I don't know why they're chirping. You know what I mean? I have no idea. But 
mm, that's that's a whole nother conversation. Um, but she posts some things that I think that I do, try to practice when I'm speaking to someone. Um, that I attempt to use on a regular basis when I'm speaking to someone. Uh, her number one, her number one is to stop doing what you're stop what you're doing. Um, in a nutshell, I'd say that this just means devote your attention to that conversation. You know, um, um, do your best. You know, if it's some someone that's important to you, if it's someone that you feel merits the attention that you have to give them and, and that what they're talking about has some value for you, then you definitely want to um, kind of stop what you're doing. Put whatever you're doing on hold as long as it, like it's not, you know, it's not like a serious time. You know, you know what I mean? If you're, if you're putting out a fire, don't, don't stop that. Keep, keep putting out the fire. Then, then talk. Then talk. Then you can, after the, after the alarms are gone off, I guess it's okay. Uh, shifting your attention. I don't know if I do that well. I prefer to to devote as much attention as I can in the moment when talking to someone. But that's the second. Uh, but I've seen people that can do that pretty well. Um, uh, this uh, Krista, Krista says that you know, one, you should jot down a quick note as a reminder of where you left off in the conversation or what you were doing. Maybe this is, oh, okay, and shifting attention, she's saying, you know, if, if you're doing something, your time's preoccupied, then, you know, be okay with putting a marking, um, a marker of what you were doing if you want to don't dedicate your time to that conversation at that moment. Um, this seems like uh, what, when you're in the middle of something and someone comes over to you to talk to you, there are a few ways that you can respond. So this is for when you're, you know, shifting your attention. This seems to be her way of saying, like, if you're doing something, you know, find a way to put a pin in that. And if if this conversation seems to merit that time, give this give your attention to that conversation. Um, which makes sense to me. I, I don't. I don't find myself. There's. There's very few things that I'm doing, at any particular time where I need to, come back to what I'm doing, to talk to someone. I can usually just stop and say, "All right, okay, whatever. Hold on." I am going to turn on the GoPro, and video myself while I'm doing this. Okay, uh, clearing your mind. I think we kind of touched on that in the last segment. You know, give give a person, give really honestly, attempt to give a person that space in your head. Give a, give 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 your give your conversation that you're having with someone that space, that head space, so that. You know, I mean, I mean, it, it feels a way for them. It feels a way for you, and you can really, really gain a lot more when you give a person that headspace. Um, focusing in on the person, I think that's 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 their number four on the list. I think that's back in the same vein. Actually, genuinely listening. Um, once again, that's something that's not. It's not. Everybody's not a good listener. Some people have things on their mind, and uh, some, and then and status plays a role in that. If you're talking to a supervisor, you don't know what that supervisor's thinking of. If you're talking to a manager, you don't know where that manager's headspace is, and they might not be, a, they might not be able to devote the time. If you, if you're coming to them with conversation, maybe they don't, they don't have that minute to devote that time. But you can tell the mer the merit of that person lies in their ability to attempt to do that. So once again, that's still a good place to me for 
decent conversation. I mean, at least you, if you can take in that moment that this person is like, hey, man, give me one second. I'll be right back. I, let me I, just hold that right there. I'll be right back. I really want to talk about whatever it is that's on your mind. If they'll, if they're willing to do that, then, you know, that, that gives you an idea of the type of person that you're dealing with and whether or not your conversation with that person will uh, be worthwhile and of some value to you and them. Um, writing things down, I don't write a lot of things down. Uh, I don't know. I, mean, I don't think I'm in that, I don't think I'm that important of a person to talk to. I don't write a lot of stuff down for conversation's sake. Um, confirming what you heard. I don't know about confirmation. I think some people need confirmation. You know, I guess it depends on the conversation um, and who and what you're talking about. I guess confirmation could be very important. But if it's just like a more, just a connective, a connective conversation, and I don't know if it, I don't know, I don't think, I don't think you have to. Because sometimes just, that to me sounds like you just repeating what someone said, you know, giving them confirmation of what you heard. Now, your actions, if you, if that person it has the awareness to be patient and and be aware of your actions after the con conversation, then perhaps like, then that could be a com confirmation. But that, that to me is over time, that takes a minute. Um, but it's still, you know, and I guess in that respect for me, it's, it's worthwhile. Um, processing information, um, once again, to me, uh, once you've gone through these steps to ensure you're truly listening to what someone has to say, you can process through it and formulate a response. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, you just don't want to take forever like I do in some conversations. Sometimes I, it takes me a minute to process. Someone will be telling me something and I'll be like, Yeah, 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 I totally agree with that. I think that's, yeah, why not? We should do it that way. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. And um, it's not that I'm not genuinely, you know, it's not that I'm playing possum or nothing like that. I just, I just feel it's important to give some things some thought. But, you know, once again, if there's a fire, don't, don't, don't wait too long. Don't wait too long. Some people don't like that. Some people don't like that. They want to put the fire out. Um. And that is um, our information from uh, Krista uh, Brubaker on uh, Biz Library, bizlibrary.com, um, another blogging platform uh, for you bloggers who want to get, who want to write about it, write about it. Um, I think I got one more. I think I got one more. Or that could that could sum up everything. Um, One more. Motley Fool. And well, you know, in a nutshell, I think that's um I had another I had another site that has something. Maybe maybe it's this one. Maybe it's this one. Let me let me give it one more look. Let me give it one more look. I got a lot of stuff on. Inspiring quotes. Oh, that's for that's for the fear. That's for fear. Twelve golden rules, keeping attention, non-fungible token. I thought I had more. One hundred percent. I thought I had more. Um. And and maybe I'll find it. Maybe I'll be able to tack this on later. But um. Yeah, I just, you know, hey, um, in general, that's, that's, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's not a lot to listening. I think most people do genuinely care about what they're talking about. It's just right now in life, we're dealing with so much. It seems like we're doing less and dealing with more, um, currently. And, um, and it just, it's that more, it's that much, it, it's that much more important 
for someone to gen genuinely feel like you're you're there, you're in the moment, you you understand, um, um, you get it, you get it, and whether and it doesn't and it's not you know it's not all social media based. I don't think it's all. Um, I don't think your awareness has to just be on the hot topics of right now and the cutting edge issues that are going on. Um, just day, just day to day. I mean, people have been trying to connect, you know, adults have been trying to connect with kids forever. You know, everybody doesn't do a great job of it. Everybody doesn't know how to do a great job of it. I, I feel like I tell people all the time, being a parent is something that you're not trained for. We don't get an education based around, uh, raising our kids, you know, it's just kind of something that's passed on from, I mean, maybe you could, but, you know, when you try to apply those types of tactics and those types of strategies to, um, um, uh, uh, to, to child development, you know, eh, in some instances it works and it doesn't work. Um, but no, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to make this, uh, video longer than, I don't want to put forth more effort. I, I'm hoping like this will be something that I can touch on in future videos, just to have like a little segment of for for those of us who who want to know more about the science or the art of conversation, because it's just it's a it's a it's a strong point. It's necessary now more than ever. Um, and and I also want to start a podcast. I mean, I think it's very important to know how to speak with people. Um, and, and ask questions, ask the right questions, uh, ask questions that keep keep a certain flow going in a conversation. So uh, yeah, I don't want to make this too long. I don't want to make it uh, too, I don't want to start diving off into other things. So, uh, you know, I'm really, really happy that I could put some, put, a, put the second episode in the O positive, the O underscore positive, uh, eight episode epic creation that I got going on here. I can't wait to really get to the fun stuff that I want to talk about. So hopefully in the near future, um, the, the good stuff, the good stuff will come in. I'm anxious myself for talking about action figures, for talking about comic books, for talking about video games. That those, those, those are my real passions and I'm really getting, I'm anxious to talk about those things. So we'll see. We'll see pretty soon. I got, I'm going to get you guys through the, the next episode. It'll be about health and wellness. Um, and uh, and then we'll keep moving forward from there. I promise my editing will get better. I promise. It'll get better. I'm going to have like stuff blinking and it'll pop. And whee! And it'll be like little things scrolling across. I, it is... It's, bear with me. Bear with me. Uh... Check me out on other social medias. Uh, I'll find a way to get them to you and link you to them. I can't do it now. I don't know how. I, I got to go to work. Uh, yeah.